going everybody welcome back to another build review so i've been quite excited for this one uh, because it's quite interesting now these are two beers from a brewery i've not actually heard of the titanic brewery uh, we've got a raspberry pale and a cherry dark um i picked these out uh, from a little shopping uh, just random little booze shop in bakewell um it was my partner who got me she Put them away for Christmas and I forgot about them and obviously now I've got them. Um, as we know now by now, I love my flavoured drinks, I think they're really nice and especially the fact that people are getting a bit more adventurous with beers. Um, so yeah, I saw these and I thought they're worth a try. Now they're 4.7% and a 4.4, so the raspberries 4.7, cherries 4.4. So they're not really high but they're not low. So, you know, just like standard. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to these, so we're just going to get on with it. Of course, I must say, um, if you're not already, um, give me a little subscribe. Obviously, help this channel just boost a little bit more. It's always appreciated. Um, obviously, make sure you enjoy it. Check out the other content. Um, I try to upload as regularly as possible. Obviously, I work as well, so it's not always that easy. Right. Here we go. So, the raspberry pale, I think, I do love things that are flavoured raspberry, so I think if anything, this is going to be my favourite. Now, like with the Tiny Rebel that we did not long ago, this has got some notes on it for you. So, it says to your eyes, it should look uh, rosé, which, do you know what, yeah, I don't know if you can tell, you can't really see it in the camera because of the lighting, but to see it without, from this angle, I mean, maybe if I turn the light off for a minute... No, it still doesn't do it justice. Um, it has got that tint. Not massive, not strong, but it has got that slight rose tint. Now, to smell, it should be raspberry and fruity. And to taste, it should be light, raspberry and fresh, which sounds awesome. So, let's give it a smell first, of course. Oh, wow. That smells amazing. Absolutely does smell raspberry. It's come straight through. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. So the raspberry is really dominant. It's a bit uh, like bitter as well, which is absolutely fine. Oh, in fact, just seeing here, it tells you it is a 2 out of 5 for bitter. Fair enough. Sweet is um, 3.5 out of 5. It's really good, that. I don't know if you've ever seen because my camera doesn't like to focus. You can't, but that's your ratings here, bitter and sweet. Um... But no, that's really nice. One minute, I'm gonna give it one more go. Yeah, the raspberry is beautiful. It's definitely got that sweetness to it, and I think obviously that's because of the raspberry. But I have to say, I do think it's a bit more bitter than what it says, which isn't a bad thing. I don't mind it at all. It's really nice. It is fresh. It's smooth. It goes down really well. It's not too strong. You don't like take your breath away or anything. This is obviously the stronger one because it's 4.7%. But no, that's really nice, really enjoyable. The Titanic Brewery, I've not heard of them before, but that doesn't mean that they're not well known because uh, I'm, I'm new to all these different beers, <laughs> you know. Um, I've only just recently started getting into them, so yeah. But no, that's really nice, definitely a winner. I think these were like two for four pound. Now I know they're only little cans, but there's obviously going to be a reason for that. Right, onto the Cherry Dark. So to see, it should be a deep red. So that's, that's something. Smell is cherry, almond and nutty. And taste is almond, cherry and marzipan. Okay. Interesting. I don't mind those flavours. The, the almond or marzipan. So, dark, dark, a deep red. Yeah, I get that actually. As it's pouring, you can actually see some red in it, but I'd say more brown than, maybe, maybe, yeah, like super, super dark red, I get it, especially when you come towards the end here, at the glass, the bottom of the glass, yeah, okay. So, we've got to be smelling cherry and, um, oh, right, cherry and almond and nutty, so let's have a smell. Yeah, I'm picking up a hint of cherry. Kind of like that 
and this isn't a bad thing because I really like it. Like the the nice uh, artificial, uh, like if you ever had the Harry Bell cherry sweets. I'm not really getting any nuts, but that's fine. Right, let's give it a taste. Oh wow, yeah. Weird. It hits you at first, but then drifts away. It's nice. I just want to say that first. It is really nice. Smooth, easy to drink. Not nowhere near as bitter. Um, it don't give you any of the like the graph on here for bitterness or anything like that. Just says best served uh, ice cold, ideally on a hot day by warm fire. Um, let me think. Without chucking it everywhere. No, yeah. Um, the cherry's there, definitely. It comes through straight away, but then it drifts off a bit. It's still there in the aftertaste, but very mild. I can't really taste much. Maybe a tiny hint of almond, but not not to the point where I'd probably put it on the can and say that's what you need to expect. That just might be my taste bud, so you might get a different effect. Um, it's not as strong in flavour as the raspberry one. The raspberry one is very much there. It hits you in the face kind of thing. Um, whereas this cherry one, it's there, but then it's gone. So I'd definitely say raspberry, definite winner. Cherry is second place, but it's not a bad thing at all. Um, that is very good, but it's just not as strong. Which you know, it does say on the can, strong, fruity, naughty, but that's definitely the winner. Raspberry pale. So yeah, if you happen to find yourself looking for a nice new beer and you uh, wander into a a good old beer shop, I'm sure you'll see these on the side, um, and I really recommend picking them up. Even the cherry one. Look, see, it was good, it's just not as good as the raspberry. Um, yeah, pick them up and uh, have a go and see what you think for yourself. Because the worth it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, like I said at the beginning. Drop us a subscribe if you're not already. If you are, then obviously if you enjoyed this video, leave us a like. It's really appreciated. Hit that bell, make sure you get everything. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to drop me comments if you've got any recommendations for reviews. And uh, just let me know what you think if you've tried these. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.